welcome back to Get The Gloss. Now, I do believe that summer is finally here, so we can really seriously talk about summer products now. In England, you never quite know whether to like stave off until like August or something, but I've decided I'm going to talk all about my summer favourites because I think it's time and everyone's going on holiday. Um, I'm feeling a bit jealous, but um, yeah, I think it's time I spoke about the products that I think are really, really great that you should pack in your kit to go on holiday. So, right, right I've got a little pouch here. Love this pouch. I bought it from The Cross in Notting Hill, just so you know. A few people have asked me where I got it from before. The brand, by the way, is called Star Mella. I think they sell in lots of different shops. But anyway, right, I'm going to show you what is in here. First of all, obviously for holidays, is sun cream. And one of my favourite sun cream brands is Sizzly. It's absolutely amazing. The products smell of lavender, very soft, don't leave any residue. Belly tell they're there. I love it. And I'm a big fan at the moment of um, sort of these um, atomizer sprays because they apply really evenly and they're really cool and fresh. I'll show you how this goes on. It's like this, if you can see. Whoops, got it all over my top. Um, yeah, so you apply it like that and you really do get a good coverage. You'd think that you might not know where you're applying it, but you really do. Um, yes, it smells of lavender, it's beautiful. So I love that, very expensive, I do know that. So um, other brands I also love for sun care are Clarins. The smell of Clarins sun, sun care reminds me of summer. There's something very unique and beautiful about the smell of their sun care. This is a sun wrinkle control cream for the face. Now what you have to remember when you are buying sun creams is that you um, get one that says UVA and UVB protection because um, you need to make sure that you're covered not just from burning, but from the rays that go right through down into the deeper layers of your skin. There's some new research out as well that says we should be protecting ourselves from infrared rays too. But anyway, in the meantime, make sure you wear a high factor. I'm really fair, I always wear factor 30. I don't think anyone should be going out in the sun and wearing like a factor two. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. One of the um, most aging things you can do to your skin is, well, number one, to smoke. Number two is not to wear sunscreen and to get burnt. Because um, if you think about it, the sun is literally just frazzling your cells and kind of warping them. And that, unfortunately, is how skin cancer occurs. It warps the cells. So please wear sunscreen. There's no excuse not to these days. Um, other brands I love, which are less expensive, are Nivea. I think Nivea is absolutely brilliant. And also um, Boots Own range. The number seven range, I think is fantastic. Uh, so no excuse. Right, so, and for face, I also love daily. Um, when I'm working in London, when I'm in England, I use this Creme de la Mer, um, SPF 30. As I said, I'm very fair, so I always use SPF 30, um, and I think uh, generally that's a standard people should use, SPF 30 and above these days. Um, if you want to go brown, you can wear lots of self-tan. Talking of which, <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of self-tan, and today I have got on this um, Sizzly Self-Tanning Hydrating Facial Skincare. I just really like the colour, I don't think it's too orange, hopefully you agree, hopefully you're not sitting at home thinking, my god, she looks tangoed. Um, anyway, so I think it's a really good colour. Again, it's expensive. So other brands I totally love is Saint-Tropez. I still think that's one of the best colours of self-tan on the market. For body, face, everything. They've got so many different products in their range. Um, this is an ingenious product that's been brought out recently by Saint-Tropez. It's a gradual tan for use in shower. Um, so I tried it, I've written about it on Get The Gloss, but I've tried it and I was, I have to say, I was sceptical at the beginning. I thought, how the hell can that work? But obviously there's something in it that reacts with water. So what you do is you went to wash your skin, um, sort of get rid of any moisturiser or anything that's already there, 
and apply the self tan. So I apply it liberally all over me. And then you have to wait with the shower off for three minutes. Now it's advisable within those three minutes to have something that you can occupy yourself with. So um, you can brush your teeth. Um, I've got an electric toothbrush that lasts, I think like a couple of minutes or something. So that's a good thing to do. You can't really shave your legs or anything like that because you've got this product on your legs. Um, Another friend of mine said she put a hair mask on, so that's another good option. And then you wash it off and it develops into a really light self tan. Um, and it genuinely, and I mean genuinely, it really does work. It's very light, so I would say just keep applying it like daily until you get a colour that you like. Um, and it's very light and very even and I would say it doesn't really streak. Um, I don't know how it works, but it does. So that's a great thing to take on holiday. Um, leave it after three minutes, then you wash it off, and then you pat yourself dry and go about your business, and you have no tacky residue, nothing. And over the course of the next six hours, seven hours, it comes out. So it's, it's very clever. Uh, talking of skin, this is a great product. It's probably worth decanting for when you're on holiday. Um, it's called Pretty Potion, and if you've never tried this before, it Basically, it gives sort of skin a very subtle, light reflecting sort of finish. So it's brilliant. If you're wearing a short skirt or shorts, it's brilliant at just adding a bit of a gleam to your legs. Um, and it is like one of the best I think I've tried. Um, I'll try it on my arm for you. It's very subtle, so it's not metallic-y. And it just adds this lovely gleam that um, is very even. Now this one's slightly golden, I don't know if you can see that, it's probably quite hard to see. Um, slightly golden. Um, and this is a medium shade. Um, and it says the radiance conceals minor imperfections. And it actually does, there is something about it that sort of very subtly improves the look of your skin. So I'd probably decant that on holiday into a little pot. I've got these little plastic pots that you can get in boots where you can decant products into and I often do that on holiday else my husband freaks out that my suitcase is too heavy and then I have to end up paying more for my beauty products. <laughs> okay now I've tried this recently it's by Ico and it's a new waterproof sport mascara. Now I know it says sport I do quite a lot of exercise um, which is why I'm taking this but it's also brilliant just as a waterproof mascara it literally does not budge and I'll show you what the wand's like. The wand is a sort of curved wand, I don't know if you can see that. Um, so you can really sort of push your lashes up at the same time. I think the Ico mascaras are really brilliant and this is amazing. Um, I literally tried it recently for a very sweaty workout and it didn't even budge. Um, so I'm going to be using that for holiday, workouts, everything. Okay, um, I will probably take something to protect my hair on holiday. Uh, I will take um, this as well, not only to use in the sun, but I will take it to, um, if I dry my hair at night, to sort of protect against the heat and stop frizz, basically. So it's sort of a dual purpose product. It's called Nectar Thermique from Kerastars. I love Kerastars products. Cannot talk highly enough of them. People often say to me, do more expensive hair care products really work? And I would say, on the whole, actually, yes. Especially Kerastars, because I know how much science and how much research goes into this brand. Um, and also there is something in the Kerastars range for every single hair type, whether it's thinning hair, thick hair, hair that needs volume, um, hair that needs flattening, hair that needs moisture, hair that's ageing, they've got it going on. Okay, next, uh, what will I take in my holiday bag is this. Um, it's a, a new range that I've spotted called Bagsy. This is called Lip Cocoon and they're all very clever little products that you can fit in your handbag and that a lot of them dual purpose, that sort of thing. Now this is a like a lip balm um, and it's just a really lovely kind of raspberry balm. Uh, it's called Lip Cocoon um, and I like it because it doesn't look like you've sort of tried too hard. It's just a very easy thing to wear in the sun, keep your lips hydrated, 
but also at night. So check out Bagsy, it's an interesting little range. Um, and last but not least, nail varnishes. Two of my favourite colours at the moment. This one's by Leighton Denny, who's a manicurist, um, and it is called Viva La Diva, and it's a bright red. It's slightly more of a tomato red. Um, I'm wearing it on my nails right now. And I'm also very much in love with orange this season. So this one is by Essie. Love Essie nail colours. Oh, and it's called Brazilliant. Essie have the best names. Um, so, um, one for the toes, one for the nails. Do I think we should wear matching toes and nails? If you want to, there are no rules. I like to mix it up because I just think it's fun. So I probably do both. But I would always use a top coat and I would always use a base coat because that keeps it on for longer and will hopefully last longer on your holiday. And that is probably it for now. That's it. My bag. Um, oh, I probably have an after sun. Sorry, there's one product here. This is a sizzly after sun. Um, yeah, and it smells divine. And the Clarins products also smell absolutely divine as well. So um, those are my favourite products for summer. Please let me know your favourite products for summer. I'm always fascinated by what you guys really love. And don't forget to subscribe to Get The Gloss TV right here. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Thanks, bye bye.